Hey, today I'm going to show you how to build a serverless Slack bot using AWS Chalice. AWS Chalice is a Python serverless micro framework for AWS that makes it very easy to create a REST API on top of AWS Lambda and the API gateway. In case you haven't installed it already, this is the GitHub repository to access the code, and I've already created a tutorial video on how to get started. If you search for AWS Chalice on YouTube, there's this video building an API with AWS Chalice. Installing it though is very easy. Uh, you just type pip install, just like any other Python package, and install Chalice, and it'll download all the dependencies. Once it's installed, you have a new command called Chalice that has a variety of commands you can use. The first we're gonna use is called new project, and we're making a Slack bot. And here's what our Slack bot's going to do. The first thing it's gonna do is retrieve a stock chart. So this is a stock bot. We want to be able to easily retrieve stock quotes and stock charts for any given symbol. So I'm going to call this stock bot. And our first goal is to retrieve a stock chart using our API. So I type chalice new project stock bot. And if I go in the directory, you'll see I have a couple of files. The first is app.py, which is where our source code will live and requirements.txt, which is for any dependencies that we need. So I'm gonna open up this directory in Visual Studio Code, but you can use whatever editor you want. It just needs to be a simple text editor. If I open app.py, you see I have a route and that's mapped to a function and I just need to return a Python dictionary and it'll automatically take care of JSONifying the response. I can use a command chalice local and that will run a local development server. And if I put this in my browser, you can see I already have a server running and it returns hello world. So how do I make this into a Slack bot? Well, Slack has the ability to create apps and I can add more apps. I've already created a workspace. And if you go to api.slack.com, it'll show your apps. I haven't created one yet. So I'm gonna create an app and I'm gonna call it stock bot. And I'm gonna add it to my workspace. Okay. And we're gonna implement this as a slash command. There's a variety of ways to interact with Slack, but one of the most common is a slash command and you can create a new command. And what we want is the ability to type slash chart and a symbol name and for that to retrieve a, a stock chart of our choice. So we need to add the command and we need to give a slack a, a URL to post uh, this command and its parameters to. We don't have that yet. So let's go ahead and build that and then get it deployed so that slack can use it. So what does slack, how does Slack post and interact with uh, slash commands? If you go to the API documentation by clicking documentation, um, you can see that it does this payload here that it posts. And so I'm gonna copy this example payload and it uses this content, content type header of application form URL encoded, which we're gonna need to parse. We're gonna need to uh, uh, retrieve this payload. Uh, slack will post the command and some text. So I'm gonna comment this out and put it inside of our text editor for future reference. And so what I care about is this slash command. In our case, it's gonna be chart and the text will be something like apple. That'll be the text after the command. So this is the main things we care about. So how do we parse this? Well, in addition to our decorator here, that's a slash command, we can add methods equals post because Slack does a post request and we need to tell it the content type. Otherwise, uh, Chalice by default assumes we're using uh, JSON, application JSON posts. So I'm gonna type application slash X www form URL encoded. And I'm just gonna print out the what we receive. So I'm gonna print and do app current request dot uh, raw body decode and we should see uh, what we get inside of our console and I'm going to make sure that's rerun I think it's reloaded and I'm going to use this client called insomnia which is a desktop client and it lets me do a post to an endpoint and see the response you can use curl or any other mechanism like postman that you want I'm using this one because I'm comfortable with it uh, so I can select form URL encoded and I can type command slash chart and text apple and I'm gonna to post to it. And you see, I still get the hello world response. And in my console, you see I have this uh, P 
payload, which is similar to what Slack would send. So how do I parse that? Well, um, I'm going to get this and uh, Python actually has a URL parsing, uh, some URL parsing functionality that I'm going to import and use. So I'm going to do from URL lib .parse, import URL parse and parse QSL, which QSL, which will help us uh, parse this string here. So what I can do here is do, um, I'll just assign this to a variable R equals parse QSL um, that, and then I can also reach uh, format this as a dictionary. And if I print this out, Actually, I'll return it as JSON students. We should have a dictionary. And let's see what that looks like. We have an error there, parse. Looks like I typed SQL on accident. If I run that, you see it makes it into a dictionary where we get slash chart and slash apple, which is very easy to work with. So now let's go ahead and expand upon this. Now that we know we have a command and we also know that we have a, a symbol that's in the text. We can do uh, command equals our command and symbol equals our text. So now we have a stock symbol, which is exactly what we want. And we want to return a format that Slack wants. So let's see what it expects us to return. So. Slack wants us to return a simple text and title uh, to in the response. So let's let's try that. Let's just uh, do a response type. Let me see if I can find the documentation. Yeah, so you can just return response type and text. And that should return uh, information to the channel. So let's do this. I'm just going to return a dictionary of response type in channel and text, you requested a stock chart for, and then let's see if we can just make sure this works basically uh, for symbol. So we're just going to basically echo the response back. So I'm going to send it again and I'll do in channel, you requested a stock chart for Apple. Cool. So that works locally right there. So that's great, but we don't have a stock chart yet. So what we're going to try to do now is just deploy this and Chalice makes it very easy to deploy it. So instead of running locally, it's going to create a package with our roles and our Lambda function and our endpoint. And it should give us a remote URL that we can hit and we should be up and running in AWS. So here's our URL and that's on AWS already. And so I'm going to swap this out and post there. And look, we have the same response in the cloud already, which is great. So now let's see if we can use that within Slack. So I'm going to create a new command and I type slash chart. I'm going to give it the request URL that we just made. That's already up and running and get a quote, oh, get a stock chart for a given symbol. And I'll give it an example and yeah, let's click save. And now we have that command and let me make sure we have our app installed. So install app, install it to workspace. And I'm going to allow it permission. And let's see if that command is available already. So we do chart Apple. So you see it is available. So if I type slash chart, you see it gives a little help here. And if I type Apple, right? it echoes back, you requested a stock chart for Apple. That is great. That already gives us a lot of what we need. Um, so now let's just format the request exactly how we want it with an actual chart and let's redeploy this and then we're done. So I'm going to go back in the index function here. And now uh, what we need is an image of a chart. And so what we're going to use is a site called Finviz. And if I type the symbol of Apple, for instance, You'll see it gives me a chart and I'm going to copy the image address there and you'll see this will just give me a raw image and there's some parameters here, but I'm just going to take all these out and just use the default. 
And you can see we have an URL structure that we can use for our response. So I'm going to copy that into my editor here. And so we know we just need a URL like this and to return it. So the way you return an image to Slack is using attachments. So I am going to create uh, an attachment here. Um, so this accepts a list. So I'll do a list of attachments. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is uh, set our image URL equal to this structure. And since the symbol varies, I'm going to use a placeholder there for the string and then put our symbol in dynamically. And then I'm going to use the Python uh, request library. Actually, I don't even need to use request. I think Slack will request it directly. And then I'll just do attachments.append. And then I'll do title. And then symbol, the symbol that we have. And then the image URL of image URL. And this is Slack's attachment format. And then I can just do uh, create, add the list of attachments to my response. And let's see how that works. So I'm going to try this locally first. So I can hit this local endpoint. You see it only had text at first. Now if I hit the new version, you'll see we'll have attachments and a list with titles and images. So Slack allows me to add multiple attachments and multiple titles and images to make a richer response in uh, the Slack response. So um, now that that's done, let's go ahead and deploy this again. And we should have our endpoint and we should be able to hit the same endpoint remotely and get the same response. It's already up and running. And so let's see how our command behaves. So I'm going to do chart apple. And you see it returns a stock chart for apple and puts it in our channel. And you can see I can request micro Microsoft or whatever chart I want. And we have a working Slack bot that returns text and an image. And so yeah, that was very simple to get started. We have a REST API running serverlessly, so there's no server to log into, and it's doing a useful task for us in Slack. And in the next video, I'm gonna show you how to re request stock quotes and do other more complicated interactions with Slack, including buttons, modals, and things like that. Thanks.